Welcome back to the Pi Game game development series. We're continuing to work on our shmup game, and this time around we're going to talk about collisions, which means how do you tell when one thing on the screen runs into another thing? Okay, currently we have a player sprite and we have a bunch of enemies running around, flying around the screen in different directions, and now we need to have something happen if one of those enemy red squares runs into our player. And for now, we're just going to say if it happens, then the game is over. Um, if you get hit, you are dead. So how do we do that? Well, what we need to do is we need to look at the rectangle of the player, and we need to look at the rectangle of the mob and say, do those two things overlap? Now that can start to get complicated because you have a lot of coordinates to keep track of. The left side, the right side, the top side, the bottom of this one and of this one. And then I need to go through and do it for every single one that's on the screen to see if any of them hit it. And that can get uh, kind of tedious and require a lot of code. But fortunately, Pygame has a nice, handy uh, command that we can use. And we're going to do that in our update section of our game loop. What we're going to do is after we update all the sprites, we're going to check to see if uh, a mob hit the player. Okay, And how we do that is we're going to use a command called pygame.sprite.spritecollide. And the way that the sprite collide command works is you need to put in the parentheses, you need to put what sprite you want to check, so we want to check the player sprite. Then you need to put what group you want to check against. So we're going to check the mobs group, and remember we made this group that has all the mobs in it. And this will tell us whether any of the mobs hit the player. And then we're also going to put in here, um, you can say false or true, and what that controls is whether the mob that you do hit or whichever thing in this group you hit should be deleted or not. Um, we're going to make a game over, so it doesn't really matter. But we can use that later for, for other things. So this command, when you run it, will give you back a list. So we're going to call this list hits. So this will be a list of any of the mobs that hit the player. If none of them did, that list will be empty. We won't have anything in it. Uh, it's possible you might run into more than mo one mob at the same time if they're you know, coming at you from two different directions, but this will be a list of any of the ones that you hit. So then all we have to say is if, if hits. So what this does is when you have a list, if a list is empty, that is false. That doesn't have anything in it. If hits has something in it, then we're just going to set running equal to false. So now anytime I hit get hit by a mob. Running will equal false, the game loop will end, the game will be over. So let's see how that works. So I'm dodging, oh, I got hit, I'm instantly dead. Well now that we know how to do collisions, we can add something else that's going to collide on the screen, and that is we need to be able to shoot, so we can shoot back at these enemies and tell when the bullets hit the mobs so that we know we can delete the mobs. So that means we're going to need one more sprite. Okay, I have my player sprite, I have my mob sprite, now I need to add a sprite for my bullets. And this is again going to be a Pygame sprite. This should all start to be looking pretty familiar to you, um, as we've done it a few times now. And we'll start making these more and more unique as we add things to them. Oops. And then, um, so for this one, for this one's image, I want this one to be fairly small, right? This is going to be a, just a little bullet that's going to shoot out from the front of my player. So I'm going to make it 10 pixels wide and 20 pixels tall and I'm going to fill it with yellow. A little yellow bullet. And we'll get the rect. 
Now, what about where we put it? Well, we want this bullet to spawn right in front of the player, right? So if I'm if I'm over here on the right side of the screen, the bullet should come out the front of my ship, and if I'm over here on this side, it should come out the front too, right? So, so we need it to spawn at a different place, wherever it, we happen to be when we hit the space bar and fired. So, so I'm going to add an X and a Y in here to the init function, so we know whenever we spawn a bullet, we'll just tell it spawn at a particular location, and we'll figure that out from where the player is. So we'll just set the rect.bottom okay, equal to y, and we'll set the rect.center x to x. And then it'll be centered right on wherever we said to, to, to center it. And then we need to oops, and then we need to have a speed y. So the bullet's going to travel upwards on the screen, so that needs to be negative. And we'll make it fairly fast. Um, again, we can tweak that later and decide how fast we want it to go. And the update for this sprite is going to be fairly simple. The rect uh, will move upwards at the speed. And then we want to just kill it if it moves off um, the top of the screen. All right, you missed. You didn't hit anything. The bullet's just going to need to get um, deleted. So we can do that by just saying if the bottom of the of this sprite bullet sprite goes off the top of the screen, then self.kill. Kill is a command that takes any sprite and just deletes it, removes it from any groups that it might be in. Um, so it's just completely gone. Okay, and so that will be our that will be our bullet. Um, now we need a way to shoot, so we, we're going to need another key. So we're going to do that initially to keep things simple. We're just going to make it so that each time you press the space bar, the player will shoot a bullet. Um, so we're going to need to add another event in here in our events section. And the event we're going to add is a key down event. Okay, Key down means a key was pressed downwards on the keyboard. Um, there are also key up events for when you let go and the key goes back up, but we want to fire anytime you press the, the space bar down. So if, so if there's a key down event and the key that was pressed was pygame.k space, that's the name of the space bar, then I'm going to say player.shoot. Okay. Now obviously we don't want to run this because if we do, pressing space is going to result in an error because the player doesn't have anything called shoot. The player doesn't have a, a function called shoot defined yet. So we're going to add that now. Now that we can spawn a bullet, we will add a shoot command that spawns a bullet anytime we press space. So let's say shoot. And shoot is going to spawn a new bullet. In this new bullet, we just need to tell it where to spawn. Well, we're going to spawn at the, the X we're going to spawn at is the center X of the player. So it's centered on the player. And the Y, remember we said to put the bottom of the bullet at some Y. So the Y we'll say is the self.rect.top of the player. So put the bottom of the bullet at the top of the player. Okay. Make sure we add the bullet to the all sprites list so that it will get drawn and, and updated. And then also, just like we did with the mobs, we're going to make a group called bullets. And we're going to put this bullet in that group. Okay. Kind of for the same reason we did with the mob. We needed to have a group for it to be in so that we could do the collision. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down here and add another group called bullets. And that's a sprite group. Okay, so now if I run it, I should be able to hit the space bar and spawn some bullets. Oops, looks like I forgot to add yellow up here in my colors. I thought I had done that already, but I guess I left that one out. So yellow, I like yellow for bullets. Yellow is just 255, 255, 0. 
All right. Now I've got some bullets. And if I tap the space bar fast, I can fire a bunch. Right? Slowly I get a few. Okay. Now I still have to dodge or else I'm going to hit one and get killed. Okay. We're almost there. Now just like we checked to see if the mob hit the player, we're also going to add right here a check to see if a bullet hit a mob. Okay, And this one is a little different because we have a group of bullets and we have a group of mobs. And any of those bullets might hit any of those mobs. So we want I want a list of all those collisions. So this command we're going to make hits equal to pygame.sprite.groupcollide. And that command lets you collide two different groups together. right? This other one, sprite collide, was collide a sprite with a group. This one is going to take two groups. So we're going to take the mobs group and the bullets group and see if any of them hit. Okay, And then I want to put true so that any mob that gets hit gets deleted. And I'm going to put true Again, which is for the second group, any of the bullets that gets hit gets deleted. So if a bullet runs into a mob, both of them will get deleted. Okay, And that will be fine, although what will happen is, I'm going to start running it, is, see I'm killing the bullets, right? Or I'm killing the mobs with the bullets, but now there's no more mobs because I have deleted all of them. So we need to, if any mobs get destroyed, make sure we spawn some more. And that's easy enough because right, we have this, we had eight of them originally, right? And we put them all in the group. So anytime we delete one, so we're going to say for hit in hits, right? There might be more than one. I might have killed two mobs or three. So however many disappeared, I'm going to make this lip, loop go through this list of hits and do, do this however many times there were. I'm just going to spawn a new mob real quick, add it to the all sprites uh, where it's supposed to be, and add it to the mobs um, where it's also supposed to be. Okay. So if I killed three mobs, then this loop will go through three times and spawn three more new ones. So I'll basically always have eight of them. right? And now I can sort of run along and be hitting them, and they keep coming. And now we sort of start to have a game, right? I can defend myself, and if I mess up and miss one, it's game over. OK, that'll do it for this time around. Uh, next time, I think we'll be ready to replace these little red and green rectangles with some real graphics.